We've reached the halfway point on 44 Stop 44, and tonight, number 22 on our countdown of the top male high school athletes from the last 10 years, as voted on by our panel of local media. If you've missed any of the first 22 athletes profiled, they can all be found online at WOSN.TV slash top hyphen 44, as well as the 44's Top 44 playlist on our YouTube channel. At the midway point, we find our second Coldwater Cavalier, the Cavs with five honorees overall, the most by any one school in the boys' countdown, and like the other four, the Cavs found glory on the gridiron. Wayfeld, Coldwater, class of 2010, football. Two times All-Mac on offensive tackle and defensive end. Earned All-State honors. Twice Mac champion at Coldwater, plus was on the 2007 state championship team and the 2009 state runner-up team. Also played basketball, twice earning All-Mac honors in hoops while scoring over 1,000 points in his career. Eric's an interesting story because his brother Matt played basketball and was a little bit taller, you know, 6'11", and, and Matt and... Um, and Eric's about six six, six and a half, and and I think growing up he thought he was going to be a basketball guy, and, and and rightfully so. And he was a good good high school basketball player, but but once he figured out that that football might be his be his ticket in his junior year, really I think you know some some people start saying you know Eric you could be you know you might be a scholarship guy in football. So uh, that senior year he really was probably about two forty maybe, um, two thirty five, two forty. But I coached him as a D end, and then he's a, he's a really really outstanding offensive offensive tackle. You know, he, he was on a team, as I remember, that, that, that was large. Yeah, he, he was on a bigger, a bigger Coldwater team. And uh, what I think of him is he was, he was kind of a late bloomer where, you know, you just watch him and, uh, you know, throughout the years, he really, really improved uh, throughout in his senior year. He was obviously very, very good. You know, our big thing was when he played defense. And, uh, you know, he was just very, very tough to block. Coming off the edge, they'd get him out wide and bring him around the edge. And, you know, you got to have a guy that can get out there. And I know uh, one, the one year they played against Maddie and the boys, uh, you know, he was, a, he was just a force that year. And I guess really looking back, probably the basketball thing really probably helped him more than, than, than hurt him because he was, you know, all the footwork and all the movement and staying in shape and staying, staying lean. And uh, muscular, and then certainly as he went to UC, of course he, you know, he ended up weighing 305 pounds and, and getting in a couple camps. And, and I think the dream is maybe still a little bit alive for him. Layfeld went on to earn multiple All-Conference honors in college at Cincinnati in both the Big East and the American. He spent time last season in the NFL on the Atlanta Falcons practice squad. Eric Layfeld, number 22 in 44's top 44 male athletes. And in his final three seasons at Cincinnati, Layfeld started all but one of the Bearcats' 39 games. Join us next Friday as 44's Top 44 continues, number 21. We stay in the MAC with a basketball player who made his mark in a big way at the state tournament as a sophomore. And of course, each Friday from now until June, we'll continue the countdown of 44's Top 44 male athletes right here on the Sports Report.